so now we have captured the post id we got the post id so here somehow we need to get that post id and load the post details so there are multiple ways of which we can get that post id first we will try to see so for example let's say that created so on the created on mounted also you can write it not a problem on created let's take data so here written i will be having id so id means nothing but a post id so right now it will be empty in the created so here i can use this dot id is equal to you will be having this dot dollar route here this time you will be having route dot params <clears throat> so these all ids and all those things will be present in the this dot id one second so what is that you are saying console dot log i will try to show you this dot dollar route dot params so whatever the ids are there so you will be able to get it in the dot params so if i try to show you here if i go into this one I click on the post and if I go to the console, let's go to the console. <coughs> let's go to the console, show post details. If I click on this post details, what is it? It's not affecting. I didn't save it or what? Okay, it's running. So now if I try to refresh, oh, what happened? Yeah, now we are able to get this one, right? So whatever the name I have given it here, post ID. So if I go to the post here and if I click on this one again, see we are able to get a post ID. So whatever the name we have given it here, the post ID in the main.js, this post ID name. So with this name, we are able to get that post ID details. So here we are able to get this post ID details. Now what I can I do? So this can, I can save it in the ID. So this dot ID is equal to this dot <clears throat> this dot dollar route dot params dot id sorry post id so we have, we have kept the name as post id right? post id now we got the id by using this id we need to store the we need to get the details from the database so in order to get this de single details for example we know that in order to get the details where is our default url so the base url sorry here it is there right so here this is our base url in order to get those details what we will try to do slash post dot json right so we will get all the details at a time so we are getting all the details at a time in order to get only single post details what we need to do, do is we need to get this id so from hyphen we need to get this id and we need to capture it so in order to get only single post details so here i can slash id dot json we need to give id dot json now we will get only the single post details so now using this url we need to do this one so these are all comes under the firebase architecture so when we are so when you learn about the firebase you'll be able to learn about this api urls this is not our concept so now we'll try to learn about this one so here what i will try to do in the post item so we got the id now in, our, in order to call this one so what i can do axios.get so here post slash dollar id so dollar id means nothing but dollar this dot id so this dot id dot json so you'll get all single post details dot then response so we got the response and here we can say that post okay we got the we will keep the data parameter post and here i can add it something like this dot post is equal to response dot data that's it so we got the post details now what can i do here in the template i can go here post details i can write it here lin h2 or something like this i can have an i can write due id so id is nothing but id so which we are getting it from the routing params so now another one we are having is the title so title we got it post dot title we can get it and another one what we are trying to do is the description so description so description so we'll be getting it from the post dot description so we got it now let's see what will be the output here so if i go into this one so if i load it so that uh, errors and all the things leave it axios is not defined okay so axios we need to import the axios where is this axios yeah axios we have imported the axios now let's go and refresh this page now if you see here i'm able to get the post details if i go to the post here let's close this one all 
i am opening this view routing view routing this one if i click on this one see i am able to get all the post details regarding this one all right now we have only two details so for the product means you'll be able to have price discount image everything you can show it here so in the post details you can show only the uh, only some some data only we can show it right so here we can show the complete data using that id now instead of going into the so here i need to add a link back to the post so how can we add here let's go on this one so here i can do it so here i can add a router link router link so two is equal to slash post so i can do and here i can write back to post that's it i go into this one so let's go to the post here and click on this one back to the post i can go back to the post again so here back to the post so like this we can do the dynamic routing param so cap catching the dynamic routing param here so you call on post id catching this one like this we need to catch it here this dot dollar route dot params dot post id so multiple uh, dynamic routing params you can use it multiple name name placeholders so you can use it here and all those things you can catch it here and using this axios dot get so this is the api url so like this we need to get a single post details if you want to get it means you need to add the id dot json and response so you can get only the single data so you can add it in the post and you can show it at the top so like this we will be you we, by using this dollar route dot params we can catch the dynamic routing params so this is how we will be doing so this is called as a dynamic routing params thing but there is one issue the but there is one problem in this one i will try to show you that problem first if you understand this one then we can understand then we can know about the problem and how to solve the problem i will try to explain you 